with the advent of the climbing gym and just the explosion of the population of climbers like it really bothers me when people show up to an outside climbing area and they act like it's a climbing gym there are too many climbers coming outside for the baseline understanding to be so low you know there's multiple generations of climbers at this point who have absolutely zero idea about how a outside rock climb gets established a, a, a route and that's a problem to me. That's a huge problem to me. Ibex encompasses and like represents to me this sort of like other world. It's a really special place. There's like a power out there, a feeling. You dip down into the valley, it opens up. It seems like the Ibex balls just get taller and taller the closer you get. Those ones that are like in that groove. Do these ever get like worn down or rusted? Yeah, I mean nothing lasts forever. But the, the beauty of this is like you would see it if it was worn or mm -hmm. if there was like any kind of corrosion or water or whatever. A lot of the older gear is just um, kind of just junkier steel, junkier material. And that's primarily what needs to be updated. I mean, I, I think right now you can come up um, and watch me do a couple. I got into climbing through my parents when I was about like six years old, five years old. They like would just take me out to uh, American Fork Canyon. When did you turn seven? And then my parents put me in the, the climbing team when I was like 10 years old, and I've just been competing since then. I mostly train and climb indoors, but I try to get outside a lot because I love it. <laughs> really cool to connect with somebody who's basically been climbing since they were a little kid, and I really respect pursuing route setting in indoors. They're like the unsung heroes of climbing gyms. It's kind of like has this parallel to bolting outside. You rarely see people bolting um, the bolters of the routes that you're climbing on. And so it was just fun to ask her if she had any interest of you know, coming out with us and, and her being psyched on it. Like the sound the drill makes and just how the vibration feels. Am I holding it still enough? It's like... I lowered you down a little bit more than you needed to be. If you were higher, you'd get more leverage. You're kind of doing yeah. this right now. Look at that. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh my God, that's sick. <laughs> well, like a lot of it is probably relatable. You know, the same sort of judgment calls that you have to make setting roots in a gym. This rock is all really good too, but some like limestone or maple like we were talking on the way down, like you have to tap. If you were like bolting a crack, like what if that was like gonna be like a foothold that you would use on the roof? Yeah, I mean you definitely wanna try to stay away from anything that could be used as a hole. The bits heat up in the in the hole as you're drilling. Well two of them are broken. One of them is like melted, smashed. Are they usually like sharp at the tip? It's a super hard, super condensed quartzite, unlike any rock I've ever experienced in my life. But now they're all stainless steel glue ends. Straightened out the line of the climb a little bit so that like the rope runs better. Cleaned up the anchors so there's not these big old ugly chains up there anymore. We're just letting the 
glue fully set and then we'll be able to climb on it. Cool. So I've been coming out here since 1997. Ibex remains one of my favorite places. <laughs> Is there service out here? It's quiet. It's open and expansive. It's like a it's like a cleanse coming from the city. This place has world class bouldering, sport climbing of all different grades, and multi pitch climbing, and. It's all remote. It's all out in the middle of nowhere. Blood Meridian is one of the most beautiful routes I've ever seen. As good as rock gets and as beautiful as it gets, I, I think. has like this retro modern style about it. Starts with like overhanging, you know, modern kind of climbing. Bigger moves, bigger holds. And then the cruxes are at like three quarter height and they're full slab cruxes. Like something out of like a modern day comp. Morgan. Just slab crocs with non holds and but that's not really the point to rebolting. It's yeah. a five star route. I wonder how different it will feel. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, a lot different I think. I mean I guess this is probably some of the best rock that we have in the United States. It's so hard and good and not chossy and Reminds me of like the best limestone in, in like Europe. A lot of the like styles from the climbing gym and from like indoor boulders definitely translated to the cruxes of that route. The way she was moving very much looked like it could have been like on a slab wall in a climbing gym. I would say this route felt very compy, very like 3D moves, very like complex. People separate comp style and outdoor climbing. I think it's helpful to be a comp climber and climb outside. She definitely sort of like lit up when she discovered her own way and connected it to like gym climbing. We're like route setting, we're like always changing them, always putting up new ones so they never stay. I'd love to bolt more roots. I think that'd be really fun, especially like as a female, I feel like that's less common. 
I'd be very interested in doing it again.